But when you are the leader who thinks is the most intelligent person and looks down upon everybody as not knowing anything, then you have a problem. And the problem that I want to advise you by UPND is that if you continue on this trajectory where you think Hagainde Ichilema knows it all and you leave him like that, first and foremost, you will not go anywhere at the party. Secondly, this country will be damaged beyond recognition. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Before I dwell into the issues, Before I dwell into the uh, uh, substantive issues that I want to take, I want to tell those UPND uh, sympathizers who think that when I go live and they insult past derogatory statements, uh, they think they will discourage us from doing that. I want to tell you at Inet Shimbakamuri Narishimpula. So these insults ngamatu kanamafta inensu wa kofi. But what surprises me is that you keep on insulting, but you keep on following. When I go live, you follow. Please, don't bother yourselves. If you think that we are lunatic, I'm a lunatic. Umuntu fe chipuwe chikonkeshu. Ngoli mtu ntulu Tetu kwa nkeshu Ichibwe mba chitila mfuwaeshi Mfuwaeshi lu ala luba So it is so <laughs> Fun That you find people that want to call lunatic But every time we go live They come But I want to tell you that we know that there are a lot of sponsored uh, Chaps Who are bought talk time by the UPND to try and discredit me but i don't mind for me what is important is the zambian people and what affects the zambian people whatever comes that affects the zambian people is what i am worried about concerned about and have to make amends countrymen and women during the 2021 general elections i did warn the people of zambia I warned the people of Zambia to say that Hakainde Ichilema cannot run a country. I want to repeat. Hakainde Ichilema cannot run a country. And if you are still under that illusion that there will be anything that will change under the leadership of President Hagainde Ichilema, you'll be in for a rude shock. But I said, I want to share with you what I'm talking about. Nandaka icho gwonse wala nda po bati. Tabai shiva uu pidibulo wachile chwe mba. Icho basa tabai gwonse shi. I am saying Mr. Sata used one Bemba Aydion. And some people laugh about it. But they don't know the actual meaning of that Aydion. And this Aydion is umule mbe wachipuwa upuila mulitumfweko. Countrymen and women, the meaning of this Aydion umule mbe wachipuwa upuila mulitumfweko is that People will come to you and keep on telling you things will be okay, things will be okay, and you keep on supporting them, when in actual fact there will be nothing that will change. That is the meaning of that Bembad Aydion 
mlembe wa chipuba upuila muli tumfweko simply meaning one who is ever telling you things will be all right things will be all right it's like you know somebody has uh, prepared okra and then somebody comes ah tumfe ba na fiwa ma mwai bali amu na umbi na fiwa ma at the end of it where you find there is no okra for the person who prepared it to have um, uh, a meal or uh, to have uh, nishima with this is exactly what is happening and i want to say it chwe mba chitila na li kwewele tabula po uwa kwewele mfo ya kwa noko mutanchi look Ababa president wa HH in Edo na ileba parama one thing I learned about him is a one way traffic person is a person who doesn't listen from hard words I remember in several meetings that we had when you say something that is not happy with one he will hate you for life and the two he will disrespect you through his talk in a manner that you would feel next time not to contribute this is a man who doesn't give chance to anybody to say anything that he does not think is correct and i am convinced beyond reasonable doubts that the ministers serving in this government today don't have a say they are more banned because the man thinks he can micromanage the country he can micromanage things just the way he thinks is right and in leadership in leadership immediately moon to he doesn't want to listen from others he doesn't want to accommodate others views that man or woman is a failed leader because leadership is a collective uh, effort it is never an effort by an individual because countrymen and women this country is large this country is big and the issues in the country are complex that you need divergence views to sort out the issues in running the country but when you have a leader who thinks is the most intelligent person and looks down upon everybody as not knowing anything then you have a problem and the problem that i want to advise you by upnd is that if you continue on this trajectory where you think Hagainde Ichilema knows it all and you leave him like that first and foremost you will not go anywhere at the party secondly this country will be damaged beyond recognition just look at uh, what has been happening all presidents from Kaunda to Chiluba, from Chiluba to uh, uh, Mwanawasa, from Mwanawasa to Lupia Banda, from uh, the late Lupia Banda to uh, Michael Sata, from Michael Sata to Edgar Lungu. You find that vice presidents are sent to go and attend some of the meetings, international meetings. But are you not surprised that since this man came to power, it is only him traveling? the vice president does not travel it is because the man thinks it is only him and only him who can do things that is a sign of failure in leadership i feel sorry for these who are serving under his leadership because for me like when we had one meeting at milupi's uh, house i told him uh, HH, if this is the attitude that you are going to take in government, where you feel you know it all, I can tell you, my brother, you are going to fail. Mr. Sata taught me one thing that has made me succeed in all ministries that I go, and I respect that man. Mr. Sata told me, welcome with you. if you want to be a good leader, make sure that the people feel part 
of your success feel part of your programs the people must feel they own the programs that you want to do and he told me when you move in a ministry the first thing you do is to recognize the second class what you do as minister if you have if you have what you want to achieve simply call the technocrats and say by the end of three months i would want to achieve this for instance by the end of three months i would want that we should create fifteen thousand jobs then you give them the responsibility and say colleagues permanent secretary with your staff tell me now advise us how we can meet this target of fifteen thousand jobs let them go and wake up i mean work out the details and the way that those fifteen thousand jobs will be uh, 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 that target will be achieved when they come come back then you compare your thinking with them you agree to disagree you critic they also critic your your submissions there when you do that you'll be a successful minister where whatever ministry you leave people will forever miss you but if you want to go in a ministry and think that you can bulldoze everybody and say what you want is what should be done these technocrats will sabotage you they will say, Kawiri wa boss na abe ishiba fionzi. Bale kenu wa kula atuwewa. And that's the beginning of failure. And that's the problem that we have with Hakainde Hichilema. He doesn't listen from anybody. And the way he addresses these people, kwa tiwa iti alela nanako. He must change his attitude and his way of doing things. Look, it is becoming embarrassing every day that the things that this man condemned are exactly the same things that he has been doing since he came into office for instance that letter that came from the registrar of society yesterday to say that they've given pf seven days to submit the list of office bearers and uh, fingerprints failure to which they will be uh, deregistered. Let us avoid this kind of embarrassment. Embarrassment. You can't do that in a democratic state. Look, some of you may celebrate that yes, PF should be deregistered because you are UPND. But I can tell you that it will be still how should kill them one be no ako in a upok. If we allow certain illegalities to, perpetu to be perpetuated by those in government this country will forever be bleeding because those things will now be taken as normal i thought the upnd learned something from what happened in 2012 when the then uh, 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 registrar of society who is now member of parliament for Katombola, Handalek, threatened to deregister the MND under President Michael Sata. And I can tell you, I was in President Michael Sata's government, even Handalek can tell you that he was coded by Satavali Mukalipile Sana, Kumu Itano Mukalipile, to stop this and don't go that direction. But today, the same thing has resurfaced. That thing left a very big dent, negative dent, on the democratic uh, 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 scores of Zambia. And you saw that the international community complained bitterly about Andeleke's action. How then can President Againde Ichilema allow the same thing to be done today against the PF. I have said, and I want to say it again, what was a mistake in PF can never be a right in the UPND. 
And as long as we continue saying, oh, Kaiba PF na wala chitile, so it is right for the UPND to do it. Mwabena Zambia, we are shooting ourselves in the foot. If it is right, how it is right. And I think we must stop this trajectory. We are becoming a laughing stock. How can a foreign an ambassador accredited to Zambia, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Vienna Convention is very clear on the behavior of ambassadors and high commissioners accredited to a particular country. How can the American ambassador say they appreciate the firing of a police chief and happy with a replacement? That is an interference in the internal affairs of the country. It clearly shows that the Americans are the ones who instigated the removal of uh, Kajoba. Although Kajoba had one, one, one mistakes, doing wrong things, for which I warned him, but I don't think we should allow foreigners, America, or indeed the West, or China, or any other country, to be telling us what to do. I have never, never, never heard of any diplomat who has commented on either the dismissal or the transferring of a civil servant, be it a police officer or indeed permanent secretary. It shows you that we have a puppet government, a government that thinks to be close, more close to America is the way to go and to succeed in running this country. I want to condemn the Registrar of Society's action with the strongest contempt that it deserves. Madam, whoever you are, you were madam, you were madam, you were madam, you were madam. Stop it. Stop it. Because sooner or later you'll be fired. You'll be on your own. Please learn from past mistakes. People who have behaved like you in the past have ended up remaining alone without any support when times for rencon comes. Please, let's do the right thing. We should learn to love one another in this country and only do the right thing based on professionalism. What is happening with the Electoral Commission of Zambia is a shame. The elections, the just ended elections, three by elections in the world, are a shame to say the least. I personally went to Chirilabombwe and we were scheduled to have two public meetings. We were refused to have the public meetings, refused to have the public meeting using the officer in charge. And yet the UPND had more than six public meetings in Chitimukulu, in Chitimukulu Ward. And you can even come and <laughs> say that we've won the election. It is like a boxing match. Mwakaka opponent jama boko kunuma. You tie your opponent's hands behind and then you say, I've won the boxing match. But you PND, you must learn from what has happened in the past. And I'm so shocked that the UPND can celebrate and say, no, we are very popular. We have won the elections 3-0. <laughs> UPF used to win by elections when people were complaining. You remember they won some by elections in Western Province and Northwestern Province and said, we have now uh, started winning by elections in Western Province and we have started winning in Northwestern Province, which was unusual. I told my party that the, 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 the dynamics of the general election are not the dynamics of a by-election and that it is only those who are gullible who would think that winning a by-election by 500 people 500 people voting for you 500 you would think that you are popular that election in Chilawombwe was won by the collective opposition 
And the reason is simple. None were allowed to speak to the people. So if you are the only ones who were speaking to the people, how do you say that you won the election? You take DMM, DMMU maize and uh, DMMU milimi, you go and give out at we have won elections. Alande Mieva Mukadila Mukadila. Can do the right thing. Let your popularity be tested when the playing field is leveled. Because if you only extra instant amount to is it a grade six story, the emperor's new suit, where everybody was fooled into believing that if you say the, the emperor is, is naked, then you are a fool. And because people didn't want to look foolish, they were just praising, oh, the suit is very nice, until a little, little, little kid shouted that the emperor was naked. Don't we learn from all these examples that you only being unfair to yourselves and countrymen and women, this idea of people doing the wrong things and thinking what you are doing wrong is correct must come to an end. And praise the singers, please stop praising wrong things. How do you say that we've won elections when you did not allow your friends to have public meetings? How do you say you've won elections when there was a lot of uh, violence instigated by the ruling party, where if you go to the police and report, the police will not do anything? Voting agents, polling agents were chased from polling centers. If you look at the forms that are supposed to be signed by polling, center, polling agents, you don't find the, uh, the opposition, you don't find the signature from the PF. Where did the PF monitors go? They were chased from the polling stations. And when there are no monitors, you can do anything. Please stop misleading yourselves. By UPND. I'm only giving you advice, and advice is there for you to take. Hold. These things we've seen them before. People celebrating that we won Mangango as PF when we're in power. Mangango had been a stronghold of the UPND. We won it. And people are celebrating that now we, we are going to take Western Province. Alas. When the general elections came, <laughs> the answer was something else. Please, let's do the right thing. This thing of deregistering uh, 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 PF is the most <coughs> unreasonable things that one can do in a democracy like Zambia. PF has got 58 MPs. Over 500 councillors, over 60 council chairpersons. Why is Abuka Fere Gestra at our register this party? And you think that is a small issue? Eh? You think that is a small issue? But Prince Singa Mohamba no plan. Hey, let them register. You are being unfair to yourself. You are only showing that we have an insecure government. Only a government that is insecure, only a president who is insecure, only a leader who is insecure ends up doing illegal things or wrong things to perpetuate their stay in power. But I want to tell you, political power is very limited and very short-lived. No matter what you are going to do, remember that the MMD at one time was very powerful. The PF was very powerful. UNIP was very powerful. But all these were voted out by the people because it is the people and only the people who hold the key to who becomes their leader. So, for you PND to say we shall rule until 2090, 20, 20, 20, 20, 
umutengu wa mafuta wa alinina ama light ya alinina abantu bale lale nsala imumu lebati we shall rule until 2090 kwa ni wani nenu waka la vota because nani wani nuko waka la vota you are sure that my mother will vote for me please stop this thing and respect the people Good leaders appeal to the people. We appeal to the Zambian people to give us the vote so that we can continue presiding over the affairs of this country. And unreasonable leaders who say we shall be in power until the Jesus comes. And Abantu Barole Shafeva ever talk. And I want to encourage the people of Zambia, please participate in the elections. Don't be intimidated. Participate in the elections. And for your own information, when there is apathy in a uh, by election, and then there was overwhelming support preceding the by-elections. Just know that it is a vote of no confidence on the ruling party. What UPND should be worrying about is where are the 2.8 million people that voted for them? Where are the 37,000 people who voted for you in Chilabombo? Where are they? So for you, you know, this perception you want to create, at the end of it all, it will not help anybody. Let's respect one another and do the right thing. And my dear brother Cornelius Mwitwa, for an Ambushita issue statement, know the people are very, uh, uh, have a lot of confidence in the UPND by virtue of the fact that we've won the three elections. Cornelius, 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 how many times have I called you? Cornelius, I've called you four times. Stop misleading yourself, young man. Stop misleading yourself. Ngawaya township, you know, you go everywhere you go and listen to what the people are saying about you, PND. You will only be naive to say that the people have got confidence in this government. Kuwa ichetu waleba, ni confidence yaru pemfu. Pantulu pemfu wali shu atawa mfuaya, para pene mwikele, luwaisa, pitagule meka no kumeka. Confidence yaru pemfu. Please, do the right thing. Level the playing field the way you promised. President Daka Inde Inchilema issued a very good statement. The first press engagement at his community house. He said all those things which we're doing, you have to, don't have to look on your shoulders to criticize government. Arresting people without uh, uh, investigation, refusing people police bonds, etc., etc., will now be a thing of the past. But this is exactly what Aga uh, Inde Ishlema is doing. Erwenson wa HH Ubuntu, Ukwa Tenson. You, are, you talk so well, my brother. You speak so well that Ule Ufwa, if they don't live in Zambia, they will think Zambia is even on earth in terms of democratic tenants. But alas, what you do is something else. Stop it. Stop it and just provide leadership where the people appreciate. Work on the cost of living for the people. Work on the agriculture inputs. This thing you have said you are going to buy 250,000 metric tons of maize. My brother, Mukalalika Avantu Insala, Mukepai Avantu Insala next year. That's why I say, you see, leave politics to politicians. And if you are in business, go and do business. You see, God has given us different talents. Some of us are born politicians. And some of you, like HH, are born good businessmen. And we can't fault you in running business. 
But my brother, you cannot run a country on business principles. You are looking at the cost of buying 500 metric tons or indeed 1 million metric tons of mess. My brother, this is the beginning of the end for you. That I can tell you. There is no way FRA can buy 250,000 metric tons and expect that there will be no anger in Zambia next year. I want to work for. Just look at how much maize you've released to the millers. Just look at the amount of maize you've released. It's over 250,000 metric tons. Now you just want to buy 250 plus you remain with an, another about 168,000 uh, 168 metric tons. My brother, please stop looking paying attention too much at the expenditure but pay attention at the living standards of the people because government is to raise money and spend it on providing a service to the people stop following the american way where you just want microeconomic parameters to be in tandem with the international standards while the poor people suffer Learn to elect people who are full of nothing but semantics. Buy Safinama big words and you think they are doing you a favor. Icharwe chi uchiraninga first and foremost kulolesha pabutrush wabalanda. E decision to alapanga. How will it affect the poor people? That's a good leader. But if you are saying, how is the IMF going to look at us? We should do, get the IMF bailout. The IMF bailout you are getting, is it going to put food and uh, uh, bread and butter on the table of the Zambian people? Please, uh, UPND. Sungeni kwa bantu abalanda. You cannot buy 250,000 metric tons as FRA. Because if the maize will be in the hands of the private sector, you will have no control to one, control the price of millimeter. And also, you cannot tell them when to release the, the, uh, the, 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 the maize on the market. They will want you to ransom. They will say they don't have the maize. And when the price of maize goes up very much, which ultimately will entail the price of millimil going up, they will flood the, 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 the maize on the market. But the millimil will be unaffordable to the poor people. But I know, my brother H.H. H. doesn't learn, doesn't listen. So if that fee never decided it's 250, you will not make amends or you will not budge. Because that's the kind of person that he is. And Zambians to have such a man as president, a pretender, a person who always wants to, to, to deceive you. Hello Fish, what more would you want to know that President Daga in the cannot be trusted? He told you the minimum will be 50 kwacha. It has never been. He told you to kawesha malaiti, amalaiti alea pamulu. He told you I will reduce fuel price to 12 kwacha, fuel ilea fe pamulu. Fionce, he told you 12 hours, I'll be 10 hours, I'm elected, 14 hours. The dollar will, 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 will the kwacha will appreciate. It has never happened. This appreciation of kwacha which is happening now is very fictitious. Just last week, two weeks ago, they released $45 million onto the market in order for the exchange rate to come down. That is very fictitious. And by the way, this rate of the quarter to the dollar, you must get worried, Zambians, because at the moment we are not even paying debt. But it jumped from 1718 to 21. What if we start paying debts? What when we start paying debt? What is going to happen to the exchange rate? Because it's not right. Can we just do the right thing? 
as a government which is going to make the price uh, i mean the rate of the kwacha to the dollar too and there's only one thing or two things it's to produce more for export if you are not producing more for export if you are not setting up manufacturing industry where you are going to reduce the pressure on those who import things even underwear for children bamba yamu and a bamba toothpick toothpick in toothpick made in china to buy this toothpick you need to go to the bank and change kwacha into dollars how do you expect your exchange rate to drop down so when you take 45 million dollars you throw it on the market and you think you've brought the exchange rate down you are just killing the economy and by the way in an economy where the exchange rate fluctuates like a pendulum eh? moving from you know the, the economy cannot be sustained but my brother is an economist today the exchange rate is 19 tomorrow is 16 tomorrow is 21 tomorrow is 18 how are the businesses going to plan how are the businesses going to plan cost of fuel today the fuel is 27 tomorrow is 26 tomorrow is 30 how is business going to plan i urge you to revert back to the quarterly review of fuel prices so that at least people can have a window of three months four months yeah? people can have a window of three four months to plan in a country where the cost of fuel cost of energy is not constant there is no way that the economy can thrive and grow so please stop it stop it stop it stop it, stop it. and stop it The last time that FRA bought 500 and below of maize in one season was during uh, uh, the Mwanawasa time. All along, FRA have been buying over 1 million of maize. And you are also going to kill the agriculture sector because most of the private sector, if FRA does not buy maize from the interior, from the poor of the poor farmers, what usually happens is bamba bata, kukabushanya, wamutwalile shati, wampela mataba. How are they going to sustain in the next season if they are going to exchange maize with t shirts and uh, trousers? But FRA gives those farmers money for them to take their children to school to plan for the next season. Then you you say no, the private sector will buy. You are killing the agriculture sector. And I can foresee a situation where one season, if we are not careful, abanta Please, mutoro, 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 mutoro. How many times have I called you? do the right thing so this thing of wanting to register pf stop it this thing of wanting to buy 250 met, 250 metric tons of maize by fri stop it so i have spoken i have advised and i want to appeal to my brother hh start listening to other people there has never been a government where ministers have been quiet as if they don't exist. It is only under this administration. And the reason is simple. They are scared that should they say something, <laughs> they will lose their jobs. 
because there is only one man who wants to talk alone look at the means of uh, information it's more bad except for <laughs> that young man Dabo who talks about even things that he doesn't understand today you are saying yesterday that the exchange rate has been caused by good policies has been the, 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 the dollar the rate of the exchange rate has gone down because of good policies what good policies Hey, magic, akadabra, akadabra. Show us, tell us why the dollar has the, the kwacha has uh, gained the strength. The only way the kwacha can gain strength is by producing more for export. The production of copper has gone down because the issues at Mopani, the issues at KCM have not been resolved. The agriculture output has gone down. So, how do you expect your exchange rate? How do you expect the kwacha to gain against uh, uh, other international uh, uh, currencies like the dollar? So, na mulela ndani moni mo, mulela nde fintu, kwa ati mulela ndani abantu wabakala ambanoti, you speaking as if you are speaking to children. I was so shocked by Honorable Musoko Tuani, who I respect very much. The last time he was saying, yes, we acknowledge that the price of commodities has gone up, the cost of living has gone up, but the, cost of, the, the, the price of commodities are not going up as fast as they used to go under PF. Who told you that you were elected to go and slow down the, 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 the increase in the cost of living? You were elected to go and make sure that the cost of living stays low. So, when you are talking as government, be serious. And I've said, and I want to say it again. Can you stop this young man, Tabo Kawana, from commenting on matters he doesn't understand? He's only embarrassing you as a government. But Minister of Information, take charge. So, stop it, stop it, stop it. Chishimba Kambwiri, signing off. Thank you very much. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.